many years that I've been working has been both uh, about a response to the idea of visualizing uh, the human community and then at the same time visualizing that through different kinds of photographs. Uh, and photography, perhaps more than uh, any number of other mediums, has always been tied to its technology, the relationship between the object and the tools that one uses to make that object. In this case, uh, the photograph is a, a very real one. So part of what I've uh, done over the years is to find different ways, different material ways, uh, to engage in this larger idea of the visualizing of the human subject in photographic form. And to do that uh, in a way that uh, has different implications depending on the kind of tool or camera that I'm using. And I, I started out initially uh, using small 35 millimeter camera. And in my earliest work, because I didn't have uh, quite uh, the idea that I have now about the relationship between the tool and the thing that results, I was actually using the small camera in a very deliberate way because I didn't know that the small 35 millimeter camera was made to make pictures very quickly and unobtrusively. I was actually using the 35 millimeter camera in a way that was probably more appropriate to uh, a larger format camera uh, mounted on a tripod. But eventually I began to think about uh, my approaches, approaches to making the photograph, both in relation to the tool and what those ways of working implied about the kind of or the extent of the relationship that I was able to have. Uh, with the person I was photographing. And also this question of reciprocity, you know, the, the degree to which uh, ultimately slowing down the process allowed me to make the process more of a dialogical one, uh, as opposed to with the 35 millimeter camera, you're working unobtrusively and it's not really about the consent of the person who's the subject. You know, that became uh, a conceptual and an ethical issue uh, that I wanted to uh, address in the work. So part of the shift from the 35 millimeter camera to the four by five camera on the tripod was to both slow down and in a momentary sense anyway, to deepen uh, and extend uh, my engagement with the person uh, that I was photographing. And then along with that, you know, along with using the 4x5 camera, I started using, uh, for the first time, Polaroid film in the 4x5 camera, which allowed me to reciprocate, to give something back to the people who were uh, consenting to being photographed. Uh, and so, so my work has been you know, this evolution that has to do with making and engaging with the photographic process in a range of different ways, materially, conceptually, and what the implications are of that in relation to trying to make both a richly descriptive and psychologically resonant representation of an individual. And how to do that through the particular you know, camera, the 20 by 24 Polaroid camera is uh, it's a much more richly descriptive uh, optical and material device than a small 35 millimeter negative. So that became a part of what that work was about, to make something that uh, materially allowed us to see more in terms of the material makeup of the individual than we would be able to see with the eyes, and then along with that, to give the subject an increasingly monumentalized presence in the space where the works uh, are going to be shown. So I, I've always thought very uh, deeply about this relationship between the tool that you use and the kind of object that you're trying to make, 
both physically and conceptually, and then what the implications are of that in terms of how it informs the nature uh, of the relationship between me and the person that I'm photographing.